This is Melody Sherry. Those are not bad dreams. Those are visions, you guys. And when you have a vision, they, they are repeatedly, they come to you. But it, nobody else can tell you the meaning of your vision because it's only meant for you, right? I remember somewhere, I, I think that was in the book, book of Daniel when Daniel had a dream. And Daniel's spirit was so vexed and he was so worried weeks after weeks after weeks. He was worried about that dream. And when he worried about the dream, man, he got so weak thinking about the meaning of that dream. Finally, the angels came to him and says, I heard your, your prayer, beloved. You are greatly loved for the higher power heard your prayer from the first day that it, the dream came to you. Now I am here to give you the meaning of your vision. But the reason the dream was delayed, the meaning was delayed because Satan came and intercepted it. We had to fight. I had to fight to try to get to you. Satan was too much for me, so I had to get my brother, my, my, the, the Gabriel, the warrior angel. I had to get him to help me. And we had to fight and fight and fight these evil spirits to bring you the meaning of the vision. So now I am here. So you see, it's just a matter of being patient. Be patient about your visions. But you, nobody else can can interpret your vision, but you. And then there was another one, where, uh, another vision that this guy had was laying up there on by the tree. I had this in the Bible, y'all. And uh, all he had was a whole army around him, but nobody could see the vision but him. So uh, what I'm saying is that he kept saying, "Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that?" And, and his friends, the other warrior, was saying, sir, we didn't see anything. You must have been having a dream. But that means that only certain things is meant for you to see. Here's Melody Sheree. She's having a fun with me. She's good sports. But she said over and over and over, she had a vision about her teeth falling out. And I felt something on one of my teeth. And I was like, I asked them, do any of y'all ever have dreams about like your teeth falling out? And what y'all say? Oh, no. <laughs> they don't help. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. I just don't believe I'm the only one that has dreams like that. Let me see. <laughs> they say, get out. T said, get out my friend. I love Lauren. T. Yeah. Oh. That's a T. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> that shit put them shoes. Ooh, I'm sorry. To... Um, oh, try that said devil. Where y'all get that from? Mm -hmm. What's going on? Wait a minute. Sorry, guys. Stop it. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just for real. Have y'all had dreams before? Because I. No, 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 I've had them a bunch of times. Like, I've had, if I can think of dreams that have happened repeatedly, it's my teeth falling out or a tooth falling out. Like, where I woke up and thought the tooth was probably gone. Like, I ran and looked in the bathroom mirror. Like, mm, do my teeth not gone? <laughs> y'all ever had a dream like that? No. Have y'all had dreams like that? And the other dream that I've had frequently is going off a bridge into water. Yeah, I have not seen all the time. Yeah, see? Yeah. No, mm -hmm. you ain't had nothing like that. What's that? Like yeah, going off a bridge in a car into yeah. water. Yeah, I had. See? I had it the other day. No, I was. Why? Because y'all drive crazy. Y'all drive crazy. Lauren said, you know why? Because y'all drive crazy. <laughs> Whatever, Lauren. So you see somebody, look, they say yes. Yes, they have, especially when you get older, you dream about your teeth falling out. Well, now, look, I'm 20. Now, look at now, psychotherapist Dominique. Child! <laughs> Dominique over here talking about some anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> negative emotion.
emotion. How you know that, Dominique? Come on on this line. <laughs> that could mean death of anything. It's not always pertaining to a person, possibly a situation. Oh, okay, now I can receive that. Because there's a few situations around me that needs to die. <laughs> Now see, I, now, see, now, see, I can receive that. Now, see, now, there you go. Somebody said, come on with the scriptures. Then I just tell them earlier that that's what we're doing. We're not anxious for anything. But with everything in, y'all know scripture, open, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, now, I get, now, listen. Now, you know what? I can receive death of things around you, situations around you. I can, I can receive that. Somebody said anxiety, stress. Look at y'all, end of a job, end of a relationship, abrupt loss. See, y'all don't want to Google. <laughs> Google. <laughs> um, let me see. It's often connected to the ending of one thing and a transformation. I change. No, you Google. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't know how to Google definitions. You know what I mean? <laughs> You are losing control of your life. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I haven't had one of those in a while, but I used to have, like, going off. So, I feel like right now, if I went off onto the, a bridge into the water, I already know the escape plan. Because <laughs> I haven't had that dream song. <laughs> I haven't had that dream song. I feel like I know what to do. Somebody say, stop laughing at us. Yes, I'm going to they said they Googling everything. Somebody said, hold on. Somebody said, I've had some dreams on the <laughs> 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 Associated with loss and important life changes. Mm -hmm. We can receive that. Mm -hmm. Water means danger or trouble. Oh, well, you know, water is calming for me, though, in real life. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I would, for me, <laughs> I'm a <laughs> <laughs> right here is called angels and the time of trouble yes that was i well, i don't forget the year you guys here's the book written by me helen griffin helen griffin better known as omo is my nickname you guys uh i think that i wrote this book in 04 june 04 well, I wrote this book, you guys. I kept having visions. And uh, so this what this that's what this remind me of. Let's take a look at what I read. I'm gonna read to you. Now, this right here, I was at work. I was doing pediatric work work uh at this time and I was doing home health. So I was at this lady's house and she woke up from a dream. She wasn't woke, she was sitting up talking to me. As I prepared my pediatric patient for bed one night, and as the mom awaking from deep sleep, she asked, why are the angels flapping the wings? The angels was flapping their wings, she said. 
She repeated, oh my, don't you see the angels on the dresser flapping the wings? The angels are on my dresser flapping the wings. Because you see, I had had plenty of visions and I've learned to be patient with my visions. And I learned that anytime I have a vision that no one else can interpret it, it was only mean for me to interpret it. And I have to be patient. So that melody, be patient, be patient, Melody. I'm glad you're having fun with your visions and with your fans and your vision, but be patient because nobody can interpret this vision but you. It was meant for you. Anyway, I said, I only see statues of angels on the dresser. So she had all these angels lined up on the dresser, little beautiful, different kinds of angels. She had all colors. She had black angels, white angels. She had a rainbow of angels. She had a, her, her little daughter was had cerebral palsy. And she had all these different colors of angels on the dresser. I only see statues of angels on the dresser. But if you see angels, it was only meant for you to see. That's what I told her, yes. And I believed her. If you see angels, if you see what you see, what you see is only meant for what you to see, only meant for you to see it. And I believed it. Oh, but Melody says, oh, but I've been dreaming that my teeth keep falling out. I've had this dream over and over and over. Then there's a dream of water where I wake up just before I'm, I'm going under in water, she says. But I already have a rescue plan. Visions. Visions is different from dreams. Dreams is something you know you dreamt about, but you won't remember. But visions come back to you over and over and over again. But you, okay, let's see. One night I had a vision. This is true, y'all. This is me. One night I had a vision. I saw myself begging. I was begging God. I was begging my higher power. I was desperate for it. I was desperate praying. I couldn't remember what I was saying, but I was pressing the floor back and forth, back and forth. Lord, just help me remember this dream. What do it mean? I remember, but y'all, I just don't know. I pranced back and forth, back and forth. I was begging. I got so tired. Got so tired of having that same old vision. My teeth keep falling out. My teeth keep falling out. It's over and over and over, Melody says. My teeth keep falling out. I keep having these visions. Now the fans are trying to help her solve these visions. But myself, I was doing the same thing. One night I had a vision. I saw myself begging God. And I was desperate in this prayer. I can't remember what the prayer was or what I was saying, but I was pressing that flow back and forth, back and forth. I can feel my desperate need in my soul. My soul needed to know I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. Then suddenly, this is true, y'all, a new a note flew across my eyes. Suddenly, suddenly, yes, I'm pressing back and forth, back and forth, and this note flew across my eyes. This note flew across my eye. It just, like it was flab. It was like an eagle flying, you guys. I read it. It says, God, or you can put your higher power in there, will take care of all your needs and pain. Oh, glory. God will take care of all your needs and pain. That's what it is. I awakened. At once, I wrote the message down. 
This is June 2004. Now, I wrote the message down in my corner mind. I sense that I was still in pain from that car wreck, you guys. I, see, I had got hit. I had got hit by a car. Well, some uh, some trucks. I thought that God would take care of my physical pain. Sister wrote next, sister, sister note said, God will take care of your knees and pain. All right, I'm looking on the surface now. I'm still looking on the surface. I knew I had just had a car wreck, so he's going to take care of my physical pain. God knows I didn't want to take no pain pills. Pain pills. Every time I went to the doctor, they gave me pain pills. They were just stacking up, stacking up across the windowsill because I refused to take those pain pills. I was scared of them. No, 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 not the physical pain finally the spirit said to me dude this this was days later y'all no not the physical pain the spirit said but the emotional pain which had rested inside of my soul from childhood yeah, y'all know about those pains from childhood there's some stuff deep 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 down inside of us some stuff even we done forgot, some stuff that we done forgot, but it's still down inside of us. Sometimes we just don't feel good. Sometimes we say we don't know what we said about, but some stuff is down in that soul that had rusted inside that soul since childhood. You have deep emotional scars that need to be fixing you're reading from the book the angels and time of trouble written by oma so you have deep emotional scars this is the interpretation that need to be fixing now i have come to give you peace so Melody, you see, you got, seems like you got that peace, but you still don't know the meaning of why do I keep having my teeth keep falling out? Why do I keep having these visions over and over and over? If my teeth not falling out, I'm going into some water somewhere. But you see, the angels have come. The angels watch over you. They come to protect you. They watch over you. They come to deliver your prayer. They come to give you the meaning and interpretation of your visions. And urgently, all of your needs will be taken care of. You're going to rise up so fast and it will be God's speed. Wow. I come to fix all that that had created in your soul, all that pain that you have went through as a woman, all the hurt and pain and grief and misery. I come to fix that. That stuff had rusted inside my soul. Yes. And now I came to give you peace and urgently. All of your needs will be taken care of. You're going to rise up so fast and it will be God's speed. God's speed. I don't know how to interpret God's speed, but this is what was the answer. I shouted glory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. I praise your name, oh God, for it is you. It is you. I praise your name. I praise you. And me, and not me, that I deserve this. Do I deserve your honor? Yes, I shouted glory, hallelujah. And I praise your name, oh God, for it is you and not me that deserve the entire honor. 
It's you, God, not me. That in, no, it's you that deserve the honor and glory. And I thank you. Honor and glory. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I come to fix you. I come to deliver you. I come to give you peace. I shouted glory. Hallelujah. And I praise your name, oh God, for it is you and not me that deserve the entire honor and glory. And I thank you. Well, in the case of Daniel, when the angel came, or when when the mother heard the angel's wing flapping, it was a divine revelation. Oh, this is the year of revelation, Melody said. It is the year of revelation. That in itself is an interpretation of any visions. Anything that you need to know about anybody, anything, it is the year of revelation. But in the case of Daniel, when the angel came, or when the mother that heard the angel's wing flapping, it was the start of a divine revelation that only was meant for her. It was meant for her to hear and see. You see, Melody, those visions that you have, yeah, man, only is meant for you, your ears. You heard it. Because, see, see, whatever is going on in, in, in my life, your life, their life, any other person's life is different. So the meaning will be different. The lady heard those angels. Oh, she heard it was flap, flap. She heard those wings flapping. Yes, yeah, she did. And I believed her. I didn't see it. I didn't see no angels. I believed her because I was had went through my own ish. Let me get through this. In the case of Daniel, when the angel came, or when the mother that heard the angel's wing flapping, it was a divine revelation that only was meant for her. For him to hear or see. It is God that will honor and fulfill our heart's desires, y'all. It's your higher power that will fill your heart desire. What is the meaning of this? I keep having these visions that my teeth keep falling out over and over and over. What do it mean? Well, y'all on the internet. Y'all trying to get it off the internet. You trying to Google it, but it was only means meant for her. That was her vision. The, the revelation is only meant for her and him to hear or see. It is God's will that our heart desires fulfill, y'all. That means that some blessings he sends by the angels are only meant for you. Some blessings is only meant for you. You see that the elderly, the, the staff, that staff on, on love and marriage I feel don't understand why this girl keeps rising up. We see through a knife and dagger and stabbing her in the back, stabbing her in the heart, stabbing her in the stomach, kicking her in the knees, stomping her. Oh, but the blessing keeps coming. The blessing keep coming, and that's for you, too. And, beloved, when the angels come, oh, they come with power. When these angels come to you, they come with power, y'all. When y'all see your visions or you dream, you, you have visions of whatever you see. Sometimes you can see your, your ancestors. Well, I saw Mama last night. I saw Uncle Ben last night. I saw him. I saw him. Yeah, y'all saw him. Yeah, but what? They come to leave you with something. They come to give you something. They come to empower you. They come to shift things around. Oh, but Melody, there's going to be a shifting around, Melody. I can tell you that. 
Whatever your teeth keep falling out, shit's going to be shift around on that, on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Shift around in my life. It's going to be a shift around in your life. They come to destroy strongholds. Yes. That vision where your teeth coming out. Yeah, all them strongholds going to come. I'm destroying all these strongholds. They come to do God's business. I'm talking about the angels now. Remember what I said? Oh, I had that vision. I walked and I walked and I pressed all night long, back and forth. I didn't know the meaning of a year after year after year. I didn't know the meaning of my visions. Yes, I kept Dreaming that a snake, a snake, y'all, kept coming across my path, a big, huge one. I ran into that snake. I ran into that snake, you guys, yes. And I physically ran into the snake, y'all, me and my husband and my children, they were little. I physically ran into that snake. I dreamt it. Then I ran into it physically, so I wanted to know the meaning of it. Because you see, I had so many snakes in my life that had came and just ate me up. So many vampires that came in my life that had sucked the life out of me all the way from childhood, you guys. Stuff had been hurting so bad, the stuff had rusted all inside my soul. And beloved, when the angels come, they come with power. They come to shift things around. They come to destroy strongholds. They come to do God's bidding. They come to do Yahweh's bidding. They come to do the higher power's bidding. Now, it has always been true that God angels dwell among us. The angels empower those who hold rings with God, your higher power, with Yahweh, Yahshua. In this way, Yahshua, Yahweh manifests himself by descending his angels from heaven. That was Daniel said. He said, oh, angels, I didn't understand the words. I couldn't understand the meaning of my vision. I became weak, he said. I was weak. This is Daniel, y'all, we had that vision. Oh, I mean, year after year after year, he kept having that same vision. He said, I was weakened. I fell on the ground. I was so weak, I couldn't even walk. Yeah, it's in the Bible, you guys. Then a hand touched him, touched him on the shoulder while he was on the palms, on his knees, y'all. Oh, Daniel, the angel said, and greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak to you. Stand up, stand up. Now I have been sent to you. And when he spoke these words to me, Daniel said, I began to tremble, tremble. Don't be afraid, the angel said. From the first day you prayed for understanding of your vision 